Hi all, welcome to my channel on statistical analysis and in this tutorial we are going to look at the calculation of mode. Mode is the value with the highest frequency or the highest number of repeats. So as I told you earlier there are three types of data sets we will look at, we will see how to calculate the mode for each and every one of them. So first of all we will look at the discrete data set and as an example we have the number of goals scored in 12 football matches. So usually you have to arrange them in order. Once you arrange them in order you can see that which numbers repeated most number of times. In this case the number 4 is repeated 3 times as you can see that it is highlighted here. So that means there are 3 football matches in which 4 goals are scored. So as that is the highest number of frequency we can say that the mode in this case is 4. And this is a unimode system in that you have only a single mode. There can be systems where you can have more than one mode or that there can be no modes as well. If you look at this example, again this is the number of goals scored in 11 football matches. But in this case, once you arrange the data in order, you can see that there are there is this number 2 which is repeated twice and there is number 4 which is also repeated twice. That means there are two matches where you have two goals and there are two matches again where you had four goals. So now you can see that there are two numbers which is repeated twice in the data set. Two repeated twice and four repeated twice. So in this case the, there are two modes. One mode is two and the other mode is four. Therefore this is a bimodal or bimode system where you have two modes in the data set. If you look at the third example again 11 football matches and once you arrange the data in order you can see that there is there is no value which is repeated more than once all the values are only having a frequency of one therefore in this case we do not have a mode therefore we call it a no mode system where the data set has all the values repeated only once there are no values which are repeated more than once therefore there's no mode Okay, so this is for a discrete data set. Now we will look at discrete group data set. Uh, in our usual example, number of goals scored in 50 football matches. If you look at this table, like it cannot be any easier than this. You just look at the number of goals and the frequency and you can easily recognize which number, which number of goals are having the highest number of frequency. In this case, the two goals are having a frequency of 11. So you can just look at the data set and see which frequency is having the highest value and the associated x value will be the mode. So in this case, the mode will be 2. You just have to look at this data set. That's all. And the third one is the continuous group data set. So we will look at the age of uh, 60 employees in an organization. In this, now we have a set of groups. So the first thing we have to do is we have to find out the group which contains the highest frequency. In this case, you can see that the group from 34 to 38 is containing 12. That is the highest frequency. So now we have found out the group which contains the highest number of frequency. Now we have to find out the exact value which we can assign as the mode of the data set. To do that, we have an equation. So this is the equation mod equals L, L is the lower group boundary, in this case it is 34 and delta 1, delta 1 is the difference of frequencies between the modal group and the previous group. So in this case the modal group is having a frequency of 12 and the previous group is having a frequency of 10. That difference, that is 2, is the delta 1 value. And then delta 2 is the difference of frequencies between the modal group and the next group. In this example, the modal group is having 12 and the next group is having 9. So that difference 12 minus 9 will be 3. That will be the delta 2 value. So remember, always you deduct the previous group or the next group from the modal value. Therefore, the answer is always positive. And C is, as usual, the group width. So now we will substitute the values and we will find out the mode. So here, L value is 34 and delta 1 is 2, delta 2 is 3. So you substitute the values that is 2, 2 over 2 plus 3 into 4 and you will get 34 plus 1.6 and that is 35.6. So that is the modal value we can assign for this group. Okay, so now we have covered the basic uh, uh, central tendencies that is mean, median and mode. So in the next tutorial we will move on to the spread measurements and how to measure them. 